So my name is Olivier Devec, and I'm a professor here at MIT. I have a dual appointment between the Department of Aeronautics and Astronautics and the Engineering Systems Division. And uh, my area of research is systems engineering, uh, how to design, manage complex uh, systems that have uh, technological components at the base of it, but that also try to deliver functionality for society, like aerospace systems, launch vehicles, satellites, uh, but also ground-based systems like uh, water networks, uh, the electrical power grid, essentially systems that uh, deliver functionality to society, incorporate technology, but are long-lived. And my particular interest in research is about life cycle properties. So designing systems so that they function not just early on when you first turn them on, but over, life, over the life of these systems. So how do you design systems that are flexible or evolvable? How do you ensure robustness against various kinds of failures? Um, how do you make systems sustainable that um, once they're initially been deployed, that their uh, usage of resources uh, becomes more and more efficient over time? Uh, traditionally, in engineering design, we know how to design systems for immediate use. That is the engineer's mindset, traditionally. Large complex systems like infrastructures, uh, aircraft, satellites, they can live for many years and decades. And how to design for the long haul, that's really what my passion is. Before coming to MIT, uh, I spent uh, about seven, eight years in industry, working primarily in the aerospace industry, uh, both in Switzerland, which is my home country, as well as uh, in St. Louis at, uh, at Boeing, and particularly on the F-18 fighter airplane. Uh, very complex aircraft, but even more complex when you consider the manufacturing, the supply chain around it, the operations. And what made this particular aircraft different or special is that it was designed explicitly for maintainability. Uh, the airplanes before were very expensive to operate, like the F-4 Phantom would take about 60 man hours of maintenance per, per flight hour. And it became prohibitive for the U.S. military to continue to operate the F-4. And so um, understanding and digesting that experience, it became clear that uh, life cycle properties like the ease of maintenance, the ease of operations, had to be built in right from the beginning. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a property of the system that can't be achieved uh, later on. You can't band-aid uh, something like maintainability into a system after the design has been essentially completed. And so the F-18, for example, has about 20 man maintenance hours per flight hour. And this was achieved through a variety of very innovative ideas, like how the engines would be removed and replaced, uh, modular electronics, uh, built-in tests, so you don't need to use a lot of ground support equipment. And, and that's really the first time I started thinking about designing for the short term versus the long term. Um, in the current research, um, I'll give you one example, which is we just started a major research project in Saudi Arabia on water and desalination. Uh, the design of water systems, not just in the Middle East, but around the world, is critical. It is a critical resource and you start to realize that designing a water system for the long haul is really a fascinating, challenging problem. For example, uh, you need to satisfy today's demands, but you need to think about the future evolution of your population. You need to think about how will technologies evolve and become more efficient. Technologies like uh, reverse osmosis, for example. You need to think about climate change. How will climate change influence uh, rainfall, uh, the availability of groundwater. There's a lot of different variables that, that, um, that are involved in that design problem. And it is truly strategic. So I've, um, the name of my research group is Strategic Engineering Research Group because we believe that uh, designing systems like water systems or the future electrical grids, but also future electromechanical systems like cars, airplanes, and so forth, we're working with DARPA, for example, on the Adaptive Vehicle Make uh, program. Um, the challenge is, how do you design a system that works for you today, but has built in the ability to play different roles or adapt itself to, to future uses or future environments?